Hello, and welcome to the latest dairy market update. Recent events in the liquid milk market have highlighted the pressures facing this sector. Tomlinson's has entered into administration and Medina has reported a pre-tax loss of £1.4 million. On top of this, Muller has served notice to some of its suppliers in Scotland and introduced transport charges in a bid to cut costs and restore profitability. The issues facing the liquid milk sector in recent years are well documented, with excess capacity and increased competition at the retail level eroding margins. The steadily declining price of bulk cream in the last 18 months will have added even more pressure to these businesses. For liquid milk processors, market returns are a combination of the price received for their milk and any products made with the excess cream. Because only a portion of milk is consumed as whole milk, not all of the available butter fat is used and liquid processors are left with some surplus cream. This can either be sold to supermarkets, used to produce other products or sold in bulk to other manufacturers. For those without the ability to divert their excess milk or cream to alternative uses, the returns from the excess cream will be heavily dependent on wholesale bulk cream prices. A good availability of cream, combined with lower demand for butter from the food manufacturing sector, has had a negative impact on wholesale cream prices over the past 18 months. Since the middle of 2018, prices have been steadily declining, hitting a 36-month low of £1,400 per tonne in August 2019. As a result, we've seen our cream income to a liquid processor measure drop substantially. The average return from cream so far this year, between January and October, has been 8.5 pence per litre, which is 27% lower than the average of 11.6 pence per litre over the same period last year. For processors to have maintained overall revenues as cream prices fell, they would need to have increased their sales price for milk. Now, while there's no publicly available data on wholesale prices for liquid milk, the Office for National Statistics publish a producer price index for manufactured liquid milk. This index is effectively a measure of how the selling price for liquid milk at the factory gate changes month by month. And we can therefore use this to track changes in the price received by processors and estimate their selling price for liquid milk. This is represented by the blue line and shows that after a period of falling prices, processors realized some increases to their selling prices in the second half of 2018. Since the beginning of this year, however, their selling prices have fallen back, as has the income from the surplus cream. As a result, processors' overall income has been reduced since the beginning of the year. Our best estimate is that this has cost processors over three pence per litre. Meanwhile, prices paid to farmers on liquid milk supply contracts have seen cuts ranging from 1.3 to 4.8 pence per litre. For more information and to keep up to date with what is happening in British dairy markets, please visit our website.